What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna show you how to easily undo a bank reconciliation in the new QuickBooks Online layout. So if you've ever found yourself in a situation where you just found like it was too messy and you had to go back and undo a bank rec, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but there's one step that most people miss that I wanna make sure that you know about. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in QuickBooks, and I'm gonna show you a few different ways to get to the screen that we need to get to to undo this bank rec. So the first way is if I click on this gear right here at the top right, and I go under Tools, I can click on Reconcile. So that's way number one. Number two, by default, when you get the new layout, they are going to add Reconcile under your bookmarks. So if you see it there, you're gonna be able to find it right there. But if you don't see it there, under your dashboard, if you go to accounting, you're going to notice more options. And right here, I see reconcile. So if it wasn't automatically added as the bookmark, you can actually click on this little thing right here and it'll add it as a bookmark. And I definitely recommend that because you're going to be reconciling every single month. So those are three different ways to access this screen. Here's one thing I want to note before we get into this. If you have the simple start package for QuickBooks Online, this is not going to work for you. You need to have essentials plus or advanced in order for you to be able to do this. So I wanna make sure you know that before we jump into this. So as you can see here, I have the Capital One credit card and let's say I wanna undo a bank rec. I'm gonna to go to history by account. And here I can see all of the bank recs I've ever done. Now, here's the important part and I want you to lean in on this part because this is the one that gets people confused. If I click right here where it says view report, there's a drop down. Now, you may see two options, you may not, but pay attention. If you see this undo option and I click on it, it's going to ask me, are you sure you wanna undo this bank reconciliation with 16 transactions? And then you would click yes and it would undo it for you. If I wanted to go and let's say I clicked on the January one, it's going to say batch undo. And the reason why I wanna point this out is it's going to tell you, hold on, we're gonna undo eight reconciliations from January all the way to August. Are you sure you wanna do this? So you really wanna make sure that you're careful and you only select the ones that you want. So if I only wanted to undo August, I would click here. Maybe I wanted to do June, July, August. Then I would click here and that would allow me to do it. So just make sure that you're mindful. Now, if you don't see this undo option, here's why. Whoever is the admin on this account needs to make sure that they add you as an accountant in QuickBooks Online. So let me show you what I mean. If I click here and I go to the gear and I go to manage users, right here you're gonna see there's gonna be a users tab and then there's gonna be an accounting firms tab. If you are not added to the accounting firm side, you are not going to see that option and you will not be able to undo a bank rec. So many times what happens is that people get added as a user, but they need to be added as an accounting firm. So this is the part that really trips people up. So whoever the primary user is, they're gonna to go to the gear, they're gonna click manage users, and they're gonna make sure that they invite you on this tab instead of the user tab. And then from there, when you go to your bank rec, you're gonna be able to see that undo option that we talked about. The next thing that trips people up is if they are the admin, and they're like, well, what do I do? So here's what you have to do, and it's a weird thing with QuickBooks Online. Let's say you are the primary user, this is your business, and you wanna undo a bank rec. You're gonna to have to add yourself as an accounting firm with a different email. That's just a weird thing that QuickBooks does, and then you're just gonna make sure that you log in with that second email, and that's how you're gonna always log in so that you can navigate QuickBooks Online because the accounting firm experience is different than just a user. So that is how you undo a bank reconciliation in QuickBooks Online, and that's how you ensure that you do see that undo option. And that's it. If you would like to learn more about the new QuickBooks Online layout and move forward with your business financials with confidence, make sure to check out my QuickBooks Online course that I created. It walks you through everything from setup to bank recs to how to automate your bookkeeping and how to use AI with the new QuickBooks Online layout. So make sure you check that out with the link in the description. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao!